what's going on youtube and returning life gainers an all-time great movie produced all-time great numbers we're going to give you the rundown for the top five movies of the weekend and we're going to also give you some of the numbers and records that avengers infinity war is breaking if you are a record for a movie you probably just got broke by avengers infinity war and if you're just now finding my channel for the first time, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you're down every time we drop a new Life Gains video. Also, if you haven't done so, join me on the Stardust app. It is a great app where I do reviews and you can do reviews for free as well, just like my man right here. In preparation for this review, I got my cat that looks like T'Challa behind me. Say hi, baby. Say hi. I don't love me right now, but it's all good. Um, there has been an unbelievable hype around Infinity War. I hope it becomes like a different movie, has a different feel, like, say, Black Panther and Spider-Man Homecoming feel. It still had the Marvel formula, but it still felt different enough. I hope it lives up to that expectation. Let me know what you think. Nice little pussy you got there, buddy. And it did live up to everything we thought it would do. And we're going to jump in here and discuss it. So you guys join that app and let me know how you feel about these movies and TV shows. Let's go ahead and talk numbers. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host. And we are here talking about Avengers and the things it did this weekend. And we're going to recap the numbers and the mayhem that went on. But before we do that, got to put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up this craft. Giving you guys a better informed YouTube review. Something better to look at. Check my video description for Fermo.com. Get you some of the sexy as hell plus seven glasses. Now let's talk numbers. If you didn't know, Avengers dropped this weekend. I predicted it would be one of the biggest opening weekend drops of all time. I predicted 250 million, and I keep dropping y'all these gems. You might as well call the knowledge I drop y'all an infinity gem, because let's take a look at these numbers. The top five just this weekend. Number one, bringing in $250 million. Number two, still hanging in there. A good movie. I did a review on that, so check that out. A Quiet Place. It brought in $148 million. That's pretty good. I Feel Pretty. Don't even waste your time. Brought in $29 million. Rampage still hanging in there. Brought in $77 million. But check out this surprise. Still in the top five ever since February, ladies and gentlemen. Black Panther still hanging in there in the top five of movies this weekend so marvel has got some secret sauce they've got avengers number one movie of the weekend black panther number five and the shit keeps rolling on so let's talk some other great movie numbers to give you guys context of how powerful this movie was let's take a look at opening weekends all time all right Avengers is number one, 250 million, followed by The Force Awakens at 247 million, The Last Jedi, 220, Jurassic World, 208, The Avengers, the very first one, 207, Black Panther, number five all time opening weekends with 202 million, and then coming in at number six. Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America number seven, Iron Man number eight. So if you guys look at the top 10 opening weekends of all time, let's do this together. Marvel holds and Disney in general holds pretty much six out of the top 10. Avengers, The Force Awakening, that's a Marvel, that's a Disney property. Last Jedi is a Disney property. Um, Avengers Disney property, Black Panther Disney property, Age of Ultron, Captain America, Iron Man, all Disney properties, but in particular for Marvel, you've got Avengers, The Force Awakening, excuse me, Avengers, the first, second Avengers, Black Panther, Age of Ultron, Captain America, and Iron Man. Wow. Now, who would have ever known that these kind of numbers would be done? And 
I think the thing we're all wondering is where can they go from here? That's all we want to know. How can you keep topping yourself with these kind of numbers? So let's kind of look at what happens to these movies if they open up with these all time great numbers. So all time worldwide, you've got, they have done close to 250. You've got Avatar that wind up getting 2.7 billion, Titanic 2.1 billion, The Force Awakening made 2 billion, Jurassic World 1.6, The Avengers made 1.5 billion, Furious 7 made 1.5 billion, Age of Ultron made 1.4, Harry Potter 1.3, Last Jedi 1.3, and as of right now, Black Panther is at 1.4 billion dollars and still a top five movie. I don't know what more to say. This movie was a classic in the theater and I hope y'all had a chance to see it, but where will these numbers end? That's the big question. How much money will this movie make by the end of its cycle? And I'm gonna say that this thing, if Black Panther stayed in theaters from February to now, this thing might have legs all the way until August. Whatever happens, we're gonna keep you guys posted. You guys let me know how much did you enjoy the movie? Did this movie reach the numbers you thought it would reach? And are you gonna go back? I've already seen it three times in one weekend because I do go with subscribers. And if you wanna go with Life Games to check out any of these great movies, hit me up comment sections below, let's wrap. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a Life Game. Go check out Marvel Infinity War. It'll change your life. It'll be a great entertainment experience. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.